So what are we looking at as happiness, right? If we are seeing it as laughing with joy and all, then... No, no that feeling of peace is also happiness, but that is also yes. not there. No, you don't know when you have to rush to the hospital. You don't know next whom you have to depend on. Then there is the happiness. See, when I understand the self and the body, when I understand the human being, being self and body, I will also understand that the body has to age. Isn't it? Hmm. When but you, then there is no continuity of happiness. Wait, no, wait, that wait, is what... wait, wait, let me finish. So if you are, uh, you know, born, hmm. you are going to die at some point. Isn't it? Hmm. I will say my, if I am born, I will have to die at some point. Isn't it? I hmm. in the sense, the body, not hmm. me, the self. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. So, when I understand this, that the body is a material unit, it has to go through this process. It will age. And ultimately, mm. it will die. Now, mm. I can see that, you know, whenever it is too far gone, suppose, mm. uh, it is too damaged, and mm. I cannot carry on with this body now. Mm. I will break free. I will dissociate and mm. the body will die. Mm. And ultimately, I can take a fresh body. Mm. Okay. Isn't it? But if I don't see all that and I think I am the body, then certainly I will suffer. Because I have a will to live, but the body has to die. And I am thinking I am the body and mm. I want to live. Now there is a lot of confusion, isn't it? A mm. lot of trauma, a lot of suffering. Mm. So to get rid of this suffering, what is the answer? To have that understanding, that clarity of who I am and what the body is. Mm. 